Welcome kwenye hii episode number 3. Tunajifunza how to create a simple college or university teaching timetable system ya weekly. Kwa kutumia Python programming language, Django web framework, HTML pamoja na Bootstrap framework. Tulisema kwamba application yetu ina side mbili, administration site ambayo ni hii Django administration na customer site okay so kwenye customer site tuisema kwamba customer atakuja atapick program current program anao start eh, current semester and atapick year of study kisha anaweza search then system ita search a timetable ya particular selected course na timetable itakuja katika muundo huu wa matrix kwa maana kwamba day from monday to friday session type course name course code instructor venue time start time end and course description course descri- description of a particular day kwa mfano on Thursday course ni moja ndio hiyo kwa moja yenyewe ICT science for example ambao ni hii hapa course code on Friday course ni zipo mbili well, session type zote ni lecture course name hizi na hizi ni course description kuelezea kwamba hizo course za Friday ni zipi venue ni lecture room 2 auditorium and so on so many tulisoma hii message kwamba message from back end weekly timetable of selected program department in economics and from monday to friday you need date range na hizi information zinakuwa set kwenye admin site hapa kwenye hii timetable so click on timetable ndio hizi hapa ambazo zipo kwenye system so current ni na 24 time tables okay kwa course to fault program to fault fault okay so tuliona kwamba hizi ni list of course names hapa naweza nikaklik add a new course hizi ni list of department naweza nikaka add new department list of employee or instructor ambao tulisema tume swap default jango model naweza nikaka add a new instructor and tab hii ndio timetable mains ambazo program zote zinakuwa registered huku alafu kwenye timetable tuna register a timetable pakunta kuja ku select hapa timetable. Hii ni just a venue, kuja kwa ad venue na kuja kwa ad. So today tunaenda kuona how to create this site ya student. Yaani student anaja na select a particular program yake, master of blah blah, semester and a pick year, afu anaweza search, afu anatokea timetable yake, weekly timetable. Okay? Okay. So ndio main objective ya kwenye hii this episode. So kwenye previous episode tulifunza nini? Tuliona how to start a new Django project, how to install open source theme kwa ajili ya admin site and how to customize theme to it me Jasmine, how to create model and migrations, how to register model kwenye admin site and perform business logics kwenye admin site. So now today today tunaenda kuona how to create a student panel. What is a student panel? Ni hapa. Ambapo hata ki log out for example now I log out okay then I access the same uh web page bado ni access kwa sababu hii ni student panel haitajii ku log in kwa sababu just yeye anaangalia tu timetable. Otherwise I click on dashboard itamhitaji authentication ya Django. Ha? Okay. Again we're going to check post request and responses. What is a post? Post ni Post is a method. Of unaje katika hii site yangu, nikija back hapa. Next select a program the semester year. Nikibonyeza search. Hii ni post request. Niki click search, yakitokea hapa hii timetable, this is the get response okay so we have post kwa ajili ya ku send request get kwa ajili ya get response so tutumia hii hapa kama api yenyewe just api jango ni api ya zoro so nikija hapo kwenye views and logics view what is views views ndio hizi hapa unaziona hapa ku select hii table hii hapa kwenye mfumo wa matrix kuonyesha time start time end course description and so many nikiklik search ananiambia e field ni required hizo zote ni business logics as well 
HTML, HTML is just is content zote is just HTML. We have divs, mona uh, is yapa ni just uh, CSS, okay, Bootstrap, and so many. Admin LOTE Bootstrap. What is admin LOTE? Now here yapa ni GitHub repository. So kijia hapo tayi download hii admin LOTE theme. Admin LOTE theme is an open source. Ambao ni hii yapa admin LOTE theme for Django also for Laravel. Django ni Laravel. Pasi na tumia for Django. So hapa katika admin LOTE uta download hii yapa uh, bootstrap only. So download yote. So utakuja hapa utakuja kwenye just static. And then uta download hii directory. Okay. Uta download hii yapa na hii. Kama na kusumbu uta download yote. Download yote afu. Kudownload yote maya kinto li back. Ndakuja hapa kwenye code. Nita download ya zezip. Kisha download ya zezip. Ndakuja kuchukua hii admin LTE3. Ambo unawaja kuchukua nini? Nita chukua static directory. Hii hapa static na utaka kuchukua. Hiyo ni bootstrap ya admin na ni material design. Kila kitu kisha kwa defined yumo una ya kudefined chuchote. Final uja kucheki Google Fonts. What is Google Fonts? Kwenye application ya tunungija kucheki hapa. Hapa. Unawana hii ni Tahoma. I think Tahoma font family. Of course hii ni Google Font. Okay. This Google Font. Okay. So now good. And kwenye previous episode of course tulishare ni wailo tuliadi data chache. I just log in. Yes, good. Tuliadi data chache. Lakini sasa kwa wewe utuadi data nyingi nyingi. Mini miadi nyingi sana. Okay. Miadi data nyingi. Okay, good. So how to create a student site? I think ini kijia kwenye timetable ni kikliki na kujia hapa. Lakini kutu kingini ni kutu create easy. You fanya you are already direction. You are already direction of top navigation. Kwa sabu ni kikliki support. Naenda hapa kwenye support. Mwana eh? Ni kikliki timetable, nabaki hapa. Ni kikliki admin, naenda wanya admin site. Hii hapa, mwona. Sasa, easy link na mna kukreate, una create vipi tutaona. Now good. So, open our project kwenye Visual Studio Code. And now, kwenye template, we need to define base. So, kia practice template, our template ni hii. Hii ndo template Kwenye template hapa Hii ni widget Na pileka kasa kwenye template Na right click kwenye template Kuna kuraiti right kiki sembili Kuna kuraiti right kiki hapa kwenye widget Na kuraiti right kiki hapa So na right kiki new ya template Na choose new file The file name is base Dot HTML Umu ndo kila kitu chakidefine Base dot HTML Good then, nakuja kukreate another file ambayo itakuwa ni URLs. So, nakuja kukreate right click new ya app. On top of app. Right click new file. Then, URLs. Dot Python file. Dot py. Click enter. In URLs. So, nakuja hapa. Na expand project. My project ni hii. Hapa na expand. Na open URLs. Dot py in ya project. Hapa. Nakuja kwenye path. Koma, hapa nandika just include. Mwana. Zen, hapa nakuja kwa nandika path. Zen, hii nakuwa ni empty kama hivi. Zen, include apps.urls. Ambao ni me create apps.urls. Ni app with my app. Zen, find urls yake. Urls yake ndo yu ambao tume create soon. Ambao ni hii, haina chochote. Ok. Nakisha fana hivyo basa, naklik save changes. Good. So kwenye apps.urls hapa, nita kuja kufanya url redirection. So nakuja katika views. Whereas views, hii hapa. Just delete it, gichopo. So hapa nitengeza function. Def ni keyword na lumeko create a function kwenye python. My function is known as index. Then na pass parameter in ito request. Okay. After then, nandika return. Return what? Random render HTML request index dot HTML. Okay, so we need to create this page. 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 So we need to create
bla 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 that is index.html for example this is the h1 okay h1 bla 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 okay good after writing so na uje hapa katika url then na perform url kwa ajili ya ku request page hiyo okay okay so url patterns na uje kwenye source code my source code here hapa just copy everything okay now come to duplicate okay so this is importation i'm going to import is yoku url patterns ni just like any array path ya kwanza ni index hii bado haijakuwa created support okay now good path here hapa then from views find a function network index you just press control button hold and click index it will have a function yet okay and name is index so save changes now come to our project so now currently in around this is demo project and now uh, then open our project our project ipo kwenye directory ya documents okay then find project then kwenye hii address bar ya directory write cmd command prompt then uh, python then manage.py i think i need to so cd project wengine ana project then python manage.py then run then save then click to execute so in a run okay now oh there is a problem viewers no attribute index uh, index okay so index haitambui i need to save changes save changes okay and okay good in a run and come to run your project again run it okay now you can see bra 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 so after doing so we need to download uh <coughs> what is this one is uh what uh no longer download so come to github repository ambayo ni hii jangwa admin lot e3 hapa open code download zip okay suppose you should download zip suppose after downloading now navigate you are downloaded directory mimi nitakuja kwenye my directory then nitafungua nita access static okay uta access static ambayo inakuwa hivi static so copy it copy static then open our directory our documents project then open up then here you paste okay tuna paste okay after pasting now we need to import cdns cdns is java javascript and html sorry javascript and css is a bootstrap is a admin lot e3 okay so minita kuja kwenye source code okay then it access template and where is the template template then it kuja kwenye layout it kuja kwenye base.html yes base nita copy base.html control a control a and copy it then open my base.html this is base of html control v okay so here kwenye base of html ni me extend admin jasmine okay hii ni ya jasmine admin base of html na jasmine ni me load static ambao nimeshaiweka static this is a cdns kwa ajili ya style mbalimbali of course unaweza copy source code sina haja kuziandika zote hizi and so many so many this is main block content content zetu zitakuwa hapa Okay now save changes. Now kwenye source code ambayo mimi download ya our project navigate uh on pages okay index.html this is the index and copy here hapa or libraries that you copy and then open our uh, index our index index.html here hapo we press this blah 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 weka hiyo in again na uje kuchini kwenye end block just take it na copy it and hapo chini paste now save changes save changes 
current your page yet we want to display blah 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 so refresh it template does not exist oh sorry so now come to hapa so is based on html happens based on html based on html it's not admin okay so changes now come refresh and output now you can see now tupo kwenye custom ambao ni student hapa tume exchange admin na admin to install ni jasmine na ukija kuangalia now we have no content lakini uh, style ni admin site style za admin site ila ukiangalia hapa mna content hizo zote unaona hapa kuna hii ni font material font 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 family so unjo google nze naandika hapa kwenye google just write google fonts google google fonts then after writing click link ya kwanza and tunaoja ku include google google fonts ambayo yenyewe tuta include yenyewe na uja kuchagua hii ya kwanza robot roboto hii hapa click it good and good okay so hii ndo ya kwetu ambayo tutaichukua so na kuja kwenye zaidi hapa get font okay hii hapo and uh, after doing so na kuja kwenye zaidi hapa get embedded code click it ndaletwa embedded code hii hapa this is a code okay this is a code so i need to copy and copy code okay after copying now open your project go to start you are starting i think static is this one then katika static create a new directory nita click a new folder then folder name nita lipa jina la fonts hili hapa meisha create wewe laipa jina la fonts on fonts right click new file zini andika new file fonts.css ambao ni hili meisha create then double click humu ndani sasa itakuwa ni empty kwako uta paste kili ambao tume copy pale ukisha paste juu yake mwje kwa ndika kwa kama iki font family roboto condensed distance serif kwa ndika iki juu yake yani hii asteriki manake website yote ita apply hii font family website yote ndo mana hii star ukika star manake uja specify ni id au ni class so ni nikitumia dot nita nandika class name lakini hapa chochoto tachokiona kwenye website yetu itumia font family moja after later save changes okay so after saving changes now Ukija kulifresha au site yako itaonekana hivi. So now we need to put content here. So unakuja hapa katika source code, uta open index. index.html. Sina haja ya kudefine everything. Uh let's copy this div. Div this one. So this is a form, HTML form. Okay? HTML form in I think ni copy yote kwa source code yote au utasoma mwenyewe kwa muda wako so copy it and come to our project kwenye index.html hapa kwenye hii hapa block content then it's a paste okay after pasting now unaona hii div class container fluid hii ni container we have select a program semester or year for study and so many so many then kutakuwa na submit button search umeona okay so now save changes now here refresh and output good So now select program semester and year for study. So now you can see select program null semester null sababu gani atje perform post request. Tutaka to send post request na get response. Hii ukipiki hapa tutaka tuone program from the list hizo zitakuwa ni get response. Okay? Good. Na hii hapa itakuwa ni response. Okay? Kwa hivyo sasa ndio hizi hapa. Eh, hii ni form just like a form hizi zote ni program hizo zinatoka kwenye kwenye views so now open views so navigate views this one views kwenye source code i need to copy everything control a control c then come to our project open views or the views uh open views this one okay views here hapa control v delete everything control v okay so he just will back kaivi okay so this is the current date and so many i think code ni many so just utazisoma kwa muda wako 
So hii ni kalenda kwa ajili ya kuonyesha date and time ya selected calls. Okay. Hii ni our function. Hapa tumefetch program, tumefetch semester, tumefetch year of study from the database. Tumesearch na tukazi assign kwenye hizi user defined variable. So programs ni sawa sawa na hii ni model. Kumbuka hii model ni kibineza control ni kai hold ni kikiki na nipeleka pale kwenye hii model ambayo ni hii. Okay. Good. And uh, let's go to view again. And okay, hapa na kadhalika na hizo hizo zote tumefetch. Okay. Fetch selected program in its department after aksha 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 bonyeza hii hapa. Natakuwa this is fetch hapa. Semester hii itoka kwenye database. Hiyo ni lakini kitu kingine kwamba akisha bonyeza search zitokea hapa chini. Kwa hiyo kitendo bonyeza search tuna send post request. Kutokea hapa chini ni get response. Na hizi ki pick zikatokea hapa hizi ni get response. Okay? Good. So post ni kusend request after submitting hapa button. Event hapa imekuwa ni click, akiklick tuna send post request. If we request the method equal to post because post ni method inayopatikana kwenye REST API, okay? Program is so many so many, then tuna fetch timetable and so many so many. So is just tuna days, days ni Monday to Friday and so many and so many tume pass kwenye contents kisha tukalenda html so html ile ni index.html okay yes is index.html hivi okay and hii ikiwa sasa haja search haja bonyeza post request itokee hivi as a normal okay so this is the index.html okay good hii page haipo of course it will check sababu umekopi so so save changes come to refresh and output refresh it good select a program a single program here for study this and click search good so response imekuja kwamba total causes only single one and here hapo kwa kutaka ku add una click here on dashboard na login good me login na kuja kwenye timetables ndio hii course yenyewe na kuja add new timetable course name this course instructor and venue and time start blah 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 time end blah 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 day monday program this one session type is lab now save changes good now i'm to uh student akija ku search program hapo okay in semester year for start hapo the click search now you can see we have two courses na hilo tuliongeza kwenye the same day sababu hapa tulipiki the same day so niki click add kama nataka ni add new course takuja hapa course name db course code for example the, that one so nita click hii hapo please okay i'm sorry let's cancel and course name let's add again and this one okay cause code for example that one i think hapa ipo labda okay in for example uh sociology i think sociology like that and then click here okay good hapo instructor okay lecture room time start okay time end Okay, and day choose day now. And now uh, program program like a change program here for start and add another program in that one. Now up another click to add another department. Department name is is okay add it up to okay. Okay. Yes, degree for example of accountant accounting for example then you click save tatokea hii hapo then this is lecture then you click good so nikija hapa niki search then suppose me select search i think hiyo ni course nyingine ilikuwa ni program nyingine hii hapa okay niki click search okay 
kaunti na course moja kwenye weekly time table na yenye ipo Tuesday okay so for you utafanya hizo uta just kufanya hizo so now tuone how to add this link kwenye time table nikiklik hapa iende kwenye time table so mtakuja kwenye settings.py mtakuja kwenye jasmine settings hapa kwenye jasmine settings mtakuja hapa kwenye uh, i think somewhere kwenye top me, top menu links zile za you mwana eh uh, i think somewhere and uh, time table find time table time table is a time table and yes good uh, yes so he's about his name support url you put your URL name timetable URL is what root level ya our project ni hapo name admin URL is the admin index sama ni hizi kwa ngeja ikukiki timetable umona itafungua hapa pa hapa pa kwa nini hii ndo root level inyewe root level umona ikuna andika forward slash kwenye programming kwenye root level kwa andika tu hivu naenda kwenye root level ok support ndio kitu watu tengeneza hii support. Ukija hapa katika URLs ndio hii hapa. Path yake inaitwa support ambayo ni hii. Okay? Na save changes. Ambapo ukija katika views method yake ndio hii ambayo ni return nini? Page inaitwa support.html. Okay? Ukitaka ku create na kuja hapa katika template, right click template new file, send and the support.html. Click enter afu hii page na ya content content na uja kukopi kwenye source code hapa kwa jia kupunguza development time hapa ni source code na kuiki support dot htmo control a paste na kuja hapa bada kukopi na paste then base ya ipo kwenye layout kusabu watu na layout just copy remove it then save changes so now nikija ku save changes hivi nikiki support na mifungua lakini mifungua kwenye nini kwenye new tab what is new tab nikija hapa kwenye settings.py okay ndo hii new window yuko to true ndo pale nifungua kwenye hii so this is the time table time table ndo hii nimesema nikikliki mwekana time table mbapo yenye nafungua yu wala gani nini na admin hii hapa ita nibakisha kwenye admin what admin site nikikliki na baki hapa pa kwenye admin site ukitaka sifungue kwenye new window new window like a force kwenye next episode on how to create uh, icons hapa nikiklik naona hizi icons na zina color hizo kwenye next episode okay and this time table good okay